Hi, welcome to another video from Everything Dinosaur. This video is a little different. We normally focus on dinosaurs, but today we're going to look at one very special model introduced recently by Rebor, their largest sculpt I think they've ever created. We're talking about this particular chap. This is Broodlord, the X-Rex. And in today's video, we'll be explaining how to put the model together, giving a few tips and tricks, and giving you the opportunity to have a really good detailed look at this fantastic dinosaur cross xenomorph replica. So without further ado, let's jump straight in. Well, before we talk about the model, let's just quickly talk about the box. Uh, thank you, Rebor, for fantastic cover art on your Broodlord packaging. And the model inside is well protected with plenty of foam. And the great thing about Rebor is that they're telling you what's coming up next when you look on the back. Broodlord is one of four Xenomorph Tyrannosaur and Dinosaur crossovers. The first of a group, and there's going to be one released every quarter. And the pictures of the three of the models can be found on the back of the box. So we've got two Broodlords, Metallic and Organic, and then we have Swarm, Radioactive and Plague. Really looking forward to making a setup. And when we get more information on these models, we'll post it up on our usual social media channels. So, we've covered the box. Now let's see what you get inside. First, unwrap your model. And when you take it out of the foam packaging, you'll find the body, that flexible tail, and at the bottom of the foam packaging, a clear plastic bag which contains the extended jaw, the two arms, and the four back spikes. You'll need these items to actually construct your model and put it together. Now, when you've got your model out of the box, you might notice that the body part of X-Rex, it's not stable. It won't stand on its own. No need to worry, it's just designed that way. When you insert the tail, the model will be beautifully stable. Let's take a quick look at some of these features on the body. Um, the metallic look is just amazing. And the detail that Rebo have been able to achieve on the body sculpt, it's exquisite. And I love the, the wet, glossy look that they've given their figure. And if we look at the skull area itself, it's just magnificent. This is a wonderful sort of Tyrannosaur cross extraterrestrial animal figure. And I do think it's absolutely stunning. It's a beautiful piece and it's a wonderful replica. So, let's insert the tail. But before we do, here's a quick tip. This is the body and we've made sure that we've taken the articulated arms out of this figure. If you're going to insert the tail, it takes a bit of effort. You have to push quite hard. So, one tip from Everything Dinosaur. Take the arms out of your figure first. Add them later. Just in case, when you're forcing home the tail, you accidentally damage those small arms on your model. So, arms out first, and let's crack on with the tail. Here's the body. Here's the tail. If you look carefully, can you see that there's slots in the body of the X-Rex? And they correspond to some grooves in the tailpiece. It's just a question of lining up the two pieces together. And you can use the rows of spikes on the actual back and tail of the model to help you do this. And then once you've lined it up, it's just merely a question of giving it a good, firm, push. There you go, nice and snug. Now that the tail's been inserted, you can see how stable this figure actually is. We've also put one of our geological rulers next to X-Rex, so you can see just how long this particular figure is. Oh, and for those people who take care about these things, Broodlord stands about 14 centimeters high at the shoulders. Now let's move on and show you how to put 
the other accessories that come with this model into the figure. Here are the four back extensions, the spikes. Each one has been tooled so it fits into its own individual slot on the back of the model. More about that in a short while. Here are the two typically tyrannosaurid arms for your xenomorph. They are quite delicate, so we advise putting the tail in first before you insert the arms. The last piece is the extended jaw, and we'll show you how this, a pen top, can help you get the jaw into position. Well, that's the tail put in. Now, let's add the back extensions, these spikes. There's four of them, and each one fits into its own individual slot on the back of the model. Identify which bit fits where, a bit like putting together a little jigsaw, and then simply push in the piece. Now, some of these pieces might wobble a bit, so you can always glue them if you wish to do so. But if you don't want to do that, try this. Secure them with just a little bit of plasticine, or in this case, a bit of blue tack. That'll help the spike fit snugly into the appropriate hole. Nice and simple, just secure them with a little bit of sticky tack like this. So, put a bit of blue tack or plasticine on the peg. Locate the appropriate slot in the model, and then push it firmly into place and that's, that's not going to fall out. That's a simple way of securing the spikes on your model. Next, let's fix the arms. These have a little peg on them too. These are just round pegs and they fit neatly and securely into the holes in the chest area. Locate the hole and simply push the arm home. There you are. That's very secure. So, you've got your wonderful tyrannosaurid arms on your model. All you have to do now is fit in that extended jaw. It's a bit fiddly, but if you look carefully, the jaw piece has a tab on the end and it fits into a slot in the floor of the mouth. Put it in carefully, mind those teeth, and push it in position. And to help you, this is where the pen top we talked about earlier, this is where it comes into its own. Let me demonstrate. To secure the jaw extension in your model, here's where that pen top comes in handy. Using a pen top or, or something similar, just poke it through one of the holes in the cheek of the model, push down, and that will secure the extended jaw in your figure. It really is that simple. And that's it. Your Broodlord is complete. And it's a beautiful, wonderful model too. And with just a bit of plasticine or blue tack, those spikes, well, they're not going to fall out. And well, let's just have a few seconds just marvelling this wonderful sculpt, this fantastic Tyrannosaurid alien xenomorph. What an incredible figure, Rebor, and we're looking forward to seeing the three others in this series. So, there you have it. I hope this video has been helpful to you. We will post up a link in the description below to Everything Dinosaur's page where you can purchase Broodlord. We'll also post up a link in the description where you can find some more pictures on our blog posts about this fantastic amazing dinosaur cross xenomorph model. And on that note, from myself and from Broodlord, thank you.